This is Pete Jones, and you are listening to the Dragons Are Real podcast. Episode 7, D&D Expert by Cook. Released in 1981 as a counterpart to Moldface Basic, Expert was written by David Cook. The boxed Expert set included the module X1, The Isle of Dread. It's still available in PDF and drive through RPG for £3.85, and at the time of its recording was on sale for £2.30. The main purpose of Expert was to cover the progress from levels 4 to 14, following on from Basic. It uses the same order of organisation as the Basic book. There was due to be a companion book which Gygax called the Master Set, but this was never made, although Jonathan Becker has made a retro clone of what it could have looked like, and this is available from DriveThruRPG, and I will leave a link in the show notes. It also repeats the magic spells and magic weapons from the Basic book. It also, the expert book says, for the first time since the original Dungeons and Dragons, adventures will take place outside the dungeon, while in previous versions it was hinted that all adventuring took place inside dungeons. This version of Basic and Expert was later to be known as BX. This was to differentiate it from what came before it and what was to follow. So what were the main changes in Expert? Well, for the first time it added wilderness rules back, which hadn't seen the light of day since the original edition, and was missed out in both Holmes and in Basic. It altered Elves' maximum level from Magic User 4 stroke Fighting Man 8 to level 10. Dwarves' levels doubled from 6 to 12. Halflings doubled from levels 4 to level 8. Classes' level names maxed out at level 9, although the levels went to 14. So a fighter became a Lord or Lady at level 9. From then on, they'd be known as a 10th level Lord, 11th level Lord, etc. Although the charts were all stopped at level 14, advice was given for levels up to 36 and how to deal with them. The spell list from the basic book was added, but clerics only had 8 first level spells in basic, and magic users had 24 spells, 12 for each first and second level. The clerics in expert from level 7 are slightly different from what came before in original OD&D. Cook added back all the 8 second level spells from the Blue Holmes rulebook, and he adds 2 spells at third level, as growth animals are striking. Magic user spells are reduced in the blue book to 12 spells per level, and earlier levels were dropping two levels per spell from the blue book. There was some overlap in this section with the basic rules for adventuring. Original D&D had adventuring in the underground and wilderness, but this was lost in homes and in the basic set by Moldvay. The wilderness additions were a base town for the explorers, how to conduct pursuit in the wilderness, how to deal with waterborne travel, how to deal with air travel, how to deal with obstacles to movement, and that favourite one, what happens when you become lost in the wilderness. Experts also added specialists and mercenaries, including the cost for them. XP points were added to the hit dice of monsters from levels 6 up to 21, and a new section on encounters in the wilderness was also provided. 34 new monsters were added, from, added to the basic set, including several dinosaurs. 13 monsters from original D&D were added that were not in the Holmes Blue Book, such as centaurs, dryads, tree ants, and wyvern. Cook added treasure and magic items onto what came before in basic, and he changed a lot of the tables to D100 to cope with the new items that he provided. There was an improved Dungeon Masters section, which gave more advice for DMs, including magical research and production, how to deal with castles, strongholds and hideouts for adventurers, and the cost to build them. There's a really good section on designing a wilderness and how to deal with wilderness encounters, and there's lots of tables there to assist the GM. This was the first edition also to introduce the known world of Mysteria, the sample wilderness called a Grand Duchy of Karamakos. And this was the beginning of the cookie era of the known world, which ran from 1981 to 1986. And this uh, known world was mainly followed in the expert modules and the B6, the Veil vale Society module. So that was the expert set by Cook. A good addition to the basic set. And for myself, this was my first introduction to Dungeons and Dragons and probably my favourite version of it. Coming up in future episodes, we'll be following Back Me. <laughs> we
You've been listening to the Dragons Are Real podcast. You can contact me by leaving a message via the Anchor app or visit the podcast website, petejones.neocities.org or on OSR Anchor Ikes at the Audio Dungeon Discord. Thanks for listening. The opening music is Siesta by Jazar. The closing music is Control Distress by Biz Buzz Studio.